Ah, what is going on, people? It's the Witch Doctor, and today we got some more TCG news. Now, I know this is uh, this has been out for about like five days now, but like I said, I like to wait on giving my opinions on cards that are new. So today I'm going to be talking about Scizor EX and Ho-Oh EX, which I'm actually pretty excited for both. Uh, not not too much of Scizor, but of what Mega Scizor can be once the card fi is finally released. You know, I can't wait to see that. But we're gonna jump right into scissor now like i said why i wait a few days is because i like to see if anything else comes out for the cards to make it better before i give it a benefit of a doubt like i did with gyarados and mega gyarados ex so anyways let's jump right into scissor so scissor is our basically generic ex pokemon with the 170 hp which is a standard for most ex pokemon which is you know all right and there's a steel type which is great because we do have some steel support with bronzong and uh, Age of Slash EX, so that is is good. Good for Steel Decks because you can splash those in. But uh, let's look at Scissor EX for one Steel Energy, Steel Wing, 20 damage during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 20 less damage from attacks. For one Energy, I'll I don't think 20 damage is good enough. But the side effect that it has is all right because if it was at least 40. With this side effect, it would be a little too much, I would say, especially since most EX Pokemon that Mega Evolve don't tend to be really that good, except for Sceptile EX. I think Sceptile EX, in my opinion, is a little better than Mega Sceptile EX. So, back to this Pokemon. Now, for two Metal Energy, we got Gale Thrust, which is an interesting attack. It's 50 plus, so if this Pokemon was on your bench and became your active Pokemon this turn. The attack does 60 more damage. Um, you know, yesterday I was excited about this card because uh, today the text was actually updated because yesterday it said if you played a Pokemon onto your bench that turn, this attack would do 60 more damage. I thought, man, that's actually pretty good because you can keep Pokemon in your hand and then you could play one down and you could be doing 110 damage for just two energy, which you can accelerate really fast with Bronze on. But you know, Scissor is not that good. It's it's all right. The only reason why I say this attack is all right because if it does become your active Pokemon, and you you have a chance of doing 110 damage like really fast with only two energy, easy to set up with Bronze on, or even just basically attaching energy to it, really easy. But, in my opinion, uh, this Scizor isn't all that good. Maybe Mega Scizor will be a lot better, which I'm hoping for, because Mega Scizor does seem like a Pokemon that, you know, a lot of people like. A lot of people love Scizor, so Mega Scizor is definitely something that people should look forward to, which I know I am, but here, I'm hoping for the best. But now, let's go into Ho-Ho EX. Ho-Ho is, uh, I like Ho-Ho a lot, because my favorite legendary Pokemon is Moltres. And Ho-Oh is like close to that. Uh, I guess the only reason why I like Moltres is because Moltres is the first legendary Pokemon that I caught back in the day. Which, I don't know. I'm sorry guys. Anyways, going off on a tangent. But Ho-Oh EX, that's what we're talking about today. Now, Ho-Oh EX is a colorless one. Uh, I don't remember if the last... I'm pretty sure the last one was fire. But this one here is really nice because it's a colorless one. And it has 180 HP compared to the last Ho OEX that we had that only had 160, which I did not like whatsoever because it was easy to knock out, but it was made to be knocked out easily because of um, the Sacred Ash ability that it had or whatever, where it would bring itself back with your energy attached to it. Which I'm not knocking it, but definitely wasn't something that I liked too much, but I did like Ho OEX back then. It was it was pretty cool. I, I tried messing around with it and it was, it was fun. But this Ho OEX is actually very nice. So it has an ability called Cleansing Flame. Now, definitely this can be an annoying EX Pokemon in the face if you can't one shot it. Once during your turn before you attack, if this Pokemon has a red energy attached to it, which is a fire energy, you may heal 50 HP from this Pokemon. That is great. It has a way of healing itself, and there are means of healing Pokemon out there now with Pokemon Center Lady and other stuff like that. 
which you can heal 110 HP off of this Pokemon like really fast and there's other ways of healing too so uh, like Florges I forgot Florges only heals fairies I, I don't remen remember Florges break one of those I, I completely forgot I'm sorry I should research that but either way there are means of healing Pokemon I know that so whole EX can be a forever living EX Pokemon if played with the right cards or like I said if it gets one shot now it is weak to water so uh, Rage of Broken Sky does have some water Pokemon in it which is a little threatening to ho oh which I'm surprised because it's a it's a you know it's in its colorless it's it's taking the colorless attribute from the flying type that it has and flying is normally weak to rock or electricity but rock in this game would be resistant since it is considered fighting so we do resist it by 20 and we are weak to water uh, I'm not not I'm not I'm not complaining about that too much it's just more of one gripe that I have because if it was weak to electric it would give it a an advantage against certain other decks that do run water types but what can you do anyways to its last attack which is elemental feather for one grass one water and one electric or lightning energy 130 damage choose one of your opponent's bench pokemon to attack the 30 damage to it do not apply weakness or resistance for the bench pokemon it isn't necessarily a bad attack it is usable because you can you can have a muscle band on Ho-Oh and you can unleash a lot of damage even though 130 isn't enough to knock out most EX Pokemon but with muscle band 150 will start chipping away doing some damage but you can also start setting up damage on Pokemon in the back too with Ho-Oh and like I said with Ho-Oh you can you can start healing it with the uh, fire energy and the, the best thing about this too you could definitely like power up ho -Oh like crazy with uh, rainbow energies because I can already see this coming. You can get rainbow energy with a uh, Floragis, and not Floragis, um, uh, Aromatis. There you go. And the rainbow energies will be counted as fairy energy, and you can move them around. And you could have those three rainbow energies or whichever random energy you have that you can attach to ho -Oh. At least if one of them is a rainbow, it will count as a fire, and you can heal. You don't have to worry about having four separate energies attached to Ho-Oh. So I think Ho-Oh EX is definitely something that I'm going to be picking up. I'm going to try it out once it comes out. And that should be it for today's news, guys. Uh, again, I'm sorry that I have not been posting the uh, Kangaskhan solo run. I am working on that. It's just, again, work has been pretty busy. And the TCG news stuff like this is a little easier for me to do. But uh, yeah, guys. Darkness.